I have a band called The Luggards and I'm also a BV for Mara Brown. I um, started music way back when I was very young, you know, primary, you know, because uh, I was in the vacation. And then uh, grade three, I was the youngest choir master at Shawasha Primary School as a border. From there, I went to Marundra High, where I started learning uh, instruments like piano, started doing music uh, full time. Um, I've got a degree in music uh, called Ethnomusicology, and yeah, I am. The unique thing about me as an artist is I'm an all-rounder. I can dance, I can act, I can sing, I can play other instruments, I can play mbira, I can play marimba, piano, a bit, you know. So what I, the, the most, most unique thing about me is just the art aspect of it, you know. I mean, despite the fact that every musician is different, they're all right, you know. But um, when people hear of Tendex, you know, they should know that they should uh, specify me with, with the energy that I bring to the stage and the performances that I do. As an artist, I see myself still in the music industry. 5, 10, 20, 50 years, as long as I'm alive, I'm going to be bringing something new, you know. Um, it's, it's a very tricky question because most of the times I, I, I see a lot of artists, you know, saying where they see themselves in, in five years, but then they don't really get there in the five years to come, you know. So I'm one of those whereby Let's just play it by ear, you know, in five years' time, probably I'll be the one asking the question, so where am I now, you know? <laughs> what do you think? Uh... Music industry in Zimbabwe at the moment, I think it's growing from one stage to the next. Why? Because we've just realized uh, through other artists, like Atasana Japres and that, you know, Zim music is not only for Zimbabweans, you know, it can be out there as well. So now that instead of just focusing on, 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 on the local aspect, you know, we start, we're starting to think of the international aspect of it as well. You know, if you have a good video, good quality video, there's nothing that can stop, stop it from being played on bigger channels like trades, whereby there's an opportunity for nearly everybody in Africa and outside Africa to what? To, to see uh, that video. So now I think we're at a stage whereby artists are seeing that this can actually be a business instead of just, you know, playing, you know, because at the end of the day, if you don't do things according to if you don't do things that are up to standard, they don't really get there, you know what I'm saying? So we are being pushed to keep our standard going up and up and up and up. And it's not just touching on the, on the artist, but it also, it's, it's also touching on the filmmakers, you know, the video filmers, you know, everybody else is just getting up on their toes because they want to be on that international aspect. And I think it's a very good thing, especially for Zim market, because it you become a really big artist because you're not just a big artist in Zim, but you're a big artist in the whole world, world. competing with bigger artists like Sana, Fali Pupa, Sana, Beyonce, Rabo, you know what I'm saying? The chances are also being given to Zim artists, which is a good thing, I guess. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page. Two six three chats.